What is up guys? It's your boy Choo Choo Cacus and today we are all aboard the hype train baby because oh my goodness Bungie just unveiled some incredible new information about the upcoming Destiny 2 Into the Light free DLC after the new developer live stream has just concluded. Guys, the most overpowered broken weapons in Destiny 2 history? are returning in only a couple of weeks, and so, let's get started. Now guys, something interesting is, uh, what just happened? Uh, anyway, something interesting, oh, I'm, I'm being transported to another world. Oh, it's the world of Stallcraft. Have you ever been playing Minecraft and thought, I wish this took place in the Chernobyl exclusion zone? You know what? Add a bunch of radiation, then add a bunch of guns. In fact, make it a first person shooter, add looting mechanics and detailed stats, stuff us Destiny players love. In fact, then make it an MMORPG so you can run into real people like this guy right here, give it a huge open world to explore, add mutant pigs and rats and bandits and factions and all that, and then make it free to play. Well, if that sounds awesome to you, Stallcraft is the game to try. In fact, right now is an awesome time to start. The Folktale Spring event is ongoing. It has a battle pass filled with awesome rewards, including for free to play players. They also have the new arena game mode that looks absolutely wild. And on top of that, if you click the link in the description down below, you're gonna get all of these starter goodies as a new player. Definitely guys, check it out, linked right down below. All right, now first things first, an important reminder, this was actually the second developer live stream with the purpose of showing off a brand new social space as well as the loot coming with Into the Light. Uh, if you missed the first live stream that was going over Onslaught, the brand new wave survival game mode that you're actually gonna be playing to get these weapons, definitely check out my recap video linked right up above. But let's just get into the actual weapons returning. There are 12 total weapons within this so-called Brave Arsenal, and then we have so much more information like how to get them, uh, the fact that they can get like an alternate special super rare version and all of that stuff, but here are the confirmed returning weapons. Number one, the Mountaintop Grenade Launcher. The gun that broke the game, the gun that arguably made Bungie introduce sunsetting is actually coming back. Now, there's some notable changes. For one, the Micro Missile perk is now actually part of the intrinsic trait. This is an all new grenade launcher archetype. So it can get two normal perks and you can see right here, it can actually get auto loading holster, which is very, very exciting. On top of that guys, built into micro missile frame grenade launchers, you also have the ability to, as you can see right here, boost yourself into the air. So you can now use the mountaintop Oh, and it lets you rocket jump around the map. That is absolutely wild. Now, on top of that, another incredible weapon returning is the Recluse Submachine Gun. The weapon that you would always pair with the mountaintop to, ha to have the most broken possible loadout for years again is coming back. Not only that, you can actually see the Master at Arms perk uh, that it originally had that would let you deal damage with it or another weapon to boost the Recluse's damage is actually returning as well. So another super exciting one. Uh, however, Bungie did confirm that Master at Arms did get a slight nerf, so you're not gonna be doing exactly the same bonus damage as you did years past. But moving on from there, another brave arsenal weapon is actually gonna be the Edge Transit. This is more of a meme if any of you guys played back in the Forsaken DLC. The amount of Edge Transits you got was absolutely insane. However, Bungie seems to be super hyped about this version, saying that it's gonna be one of the best like DPS grenade launchers in the entire game. You can actually see it can get Cascade Point to boost the rate of fire in the left column, and I don't know if we've ever seen that before. That could be really, really exciting. Exciting. Now, moving on from there, guys, we have the Falling Guillotine, the original spin to win sword. It is coming back uh, as well here with new perks. You can actually see it seems to be able to get Eager Edge in the right column uh, as well as Chain Reaction in the left. Like that could be a pretty darn good Vortex Frame sword there. 
Now, moving on from there, another weapon we have returning is the Hammerhead Machine Gun, back from the Black Armory expansion here, guys. Uh, this is one of the most iconic machine guns in the entire game. I think it was actually the first legendary machine gun introduced into the game. Uh, first of all, outrageous stats, just like the original. And look at the roll here. It can get Rampage in the left column plus killing tally? Are you serious? I, I don't think that's ever been seen in any other weapon in the entire game and that's going to be an incredible amount of damage here guys but moving on from there another returning brave arsenal weapon speaking of the black armory expansion is actually going to be the blast furnace pulse rifle now this is one of the best pulse rifles like of all time it's an aggressive burst so four round burst pulse rifle and it actually has access to a new perk here called a last stand apparently they're going to change the wording of this perk in the actual release of into the light but this is going to give you bonus damage uh, when you get kills with the weapon or also when you get kills with your grenade or melee, but it stacks. And so apparently the damage you can achieve with this perk is insane. Uh, but again, this is another super iconic weapon returning. But moving on from there, speaking of super iconic weapons returning, we have the Luna's Howl, 100% confirmed. I called this out last Thursday. It was used in a promotional image, but it is 100% confirmed today. And it does have its magnificent Howl perk. However, Bungie did say that they reworked this perk uh, to make it more balanced and you can read exactly what it does on screen right here. Another very unique factor of this weapon is that you can see it's a precision frame archetype which you're normally going to find on the 180 rounds per minute hand cannons but this has a 140 rounds per minute rate of fire. And again, Bungie's talking about that has to do with balance, but at the end of the day, you are gonna have a 140 hand cannon that hits as hard as a 140, but has outrageous stability and is going to fire like a 180. And so just be like super, super on target. So that could be very, very powerful. And again, that's gonna make this weapon incredibly unique. Now, moving on from there, guys, uh, another weapon, of course, is the Midnight Coup. We did see this previously 100% confirmed in last week's stream, but you can actually see here it can get explosive payload as a perk in the left column, which as a PvE guy who loves explosive payload on hand cannons, I am super, super excited for this. In fact, explosive payload, payload plus kinetic tremors is absolutely nuts. But next up, we have the one weapon in the Brave Arsenal I kind of think is a miss, and that is the Hung Jury. I don't think people care about this weapon anywhere near as much as they care about the other weapons. And my proof for that? Well, Bungie forgot to go over it on stream. Like, they, they looked at every other weapon that's coming except for the Hung Jury. This is as good as you're going to get. This little screenshot when they were glancing over it. If Bungie forgot about the Hung Jury, it should not be in the Brave Arsenal. But hey, I'll give one out of 12 weapons a bit of a miss. Every other one is super hype. In fact, speaking of the other two... We have two very interesting weapons because they're actually raid weapons. The first one is the uh, Secession. This is from the Deep Stone Crypt raid. So instead of actually having to own the Beyond Light uh, expansion and then go and beat the Deep Stone Crypt raid, this version is going to be available to all players. And it is going to have uh, some potentially different perk rolls as well. Now, speaking of raid weapons that's kind of a big deal for all players to own uh we have the forbearance grenade launcher coming back here as well guys uh, honestly one of the best weapons of all time in terms of a pve weapon uh forbearance with chain reaction is just capable of ad clearing a ridiculous amount of enemies on your screen with one single shot this one can actually get uh, some new rolls here. You can see Disruption Break in the left column is, is something we haven't seen before. And again, this is just going to give all players access to a raid weapon. Now, after that, 
One more weapon to go over here, guys. Uh, this is actually the Elsie's rifle. So this is kind of like the one not returning weapon. Well, kind of returning, but kind of also new. So this is based on an iconic Destiny 1 weapon. It's a high impact frame. Uh, it looks almost exactly like the No Time to Explain. That's because that's based on also the Destiny 1 Elsie's rifle, blah, blah, blah. But they're bringing uh, this back in uh, the legendary version just for this kind of special moment. And guys, I think that's gonna be it for all 12 of these weapons, or at least these are all the weapons that they showed off on stream. Now, importantly, uh, again, these weapons are getting some brand new perks uh, compared to the original versions, and also they all have a brand new origin trait. It's called Indomitability, and what it says is that final blows grant grenade energy when playing a light subclass or melee energy when playing a darkness subclass. Uh, so that's pretty decent, and also it means that even if you own the original, you know, Forbearance and uh, Succession Raid weapons, it could be worth going and getting these new versions to get access to that new origin trait, and again, some uh, new roles available as well. So you may be wondering, how the heck do you get Get these weapons and also why did I see some of them were like glowing almost looking like an exotic and others weren't well essentially there's going to be two different versions of these weapons that drop you have the normal version and then you have kind of the special version that you can see that glow with and that glow is actually going to be a special ornament that specifically drops with that weapon and that drop is going to be like a special thing that happens every once in a while as you can see right Right here, there's actually going to be quests that you can go and get a guaranteed special version uh, with that ornament of these weapons, like as a one-time thing, and it comes with a pre-built roll. So apparently this recluse right here uh, that actually spawns with Feeding Frenzy plus Master at Arms and it's glowing, that's from the guaranteed curated roll for doing one of these quests. Outside of that, just playing the Onslaught game mode and opening random chests, and you can see you can actually open chests in this new social space as well by uh, earning these trophies and kind of ranking up the new reputation associated with this whole event. Those have a chance to give you alternate versions, again, the, these special versions with the ornament, and those will actually have two rows of perks. And I think I'll be showing on screen a version of that right here. So you have a better chance to actually get the God roll with two rows of perks. It is gonna be completely random. So this is kind of the chase, right? Like you can get a normal recluse and you can even just get the God roll and be done. Or you can get the super special version with the glowing ornament, right? And hope you get the God roll in that and then you're really gonna be able to show off. I don't think it does anything to actually impact gameplay other than just have this special glow and Bungie also said you can only attain the special glow versions uh, before the final shape actually releases so once it comes out you can still go and get a god roll recluse you just can't get the one with the glowing ornament However, there is going to be something to assist you within that chase. So as you can see right here, we're in the new social space, a part of the tower that Shax has carved out. A lot of cool Easter eggs they showed off uh, within this social space, but there's these different like Shax holograms. And as you can see right here, you can go and attune, in this case, the recluse. And they said that that is going to significantly boost the drop rates when you're doing onslaught for the recluse. So if you're far the recluse you want that glowing version you can attune here and it sounded like but potentially you can attune more than one thing i'm not 100 sure about that but regardless you can attune and then go into onslaught or then go open up chests within the social space and you'll have a much higher chance to actually get that particular weapon but moving on from there, another important announcement that was made today, if you're worried about, oh my goodness, my vault with all these insane new weapons, what am I gonna do? Bungie confirmed that they're adding 100 new vault spaces with the release of the final shape. Thank goodness. Now, on top of that, guys, something else that the Destiny 2 fashion enthusiasts are gonna be super hyped about is that the super black shader is going to be returning and you can see it right here. So. Hunter mains that 
want to just make the most blacked out character possible, this is your dream. This is what you guys have all, you all want the most hardcore edgy looking hunter possible. I've seen you guys in the Crucible. This is your <laughs> dream come true. And that's uh, actually pretty exciting because people have been asking for this shader for the longest time. And on top of that, guys, there's also going to be uh, new armor sets, one for each of the different classes uh, that are inspired by like the original concept art Destiny uh, 1, or sorry, Destiny 2 armor sets. And you can see the hunter wearing that set right here, guys. And so guys, that is it for the main pieces of information revealed within today's live stream. Now, some future information that you're gonna wanna know about. First of all, if you're trying to pour through the footage and take a look at all the different potential perk rolls on these insane weapons, uh, maybe hold off because Bungie did say that tomorrow uh, there's going to be an article released that will just have all of the different perks that these weapons spawn with. Uh, so absolutely, I'm gonna be making a video on that theory crafting the heck out of the potential god rolls you can get. Uh, and in addition to that, remember, there's actually another developer live stream happening next Tuesday, and we had no idea what this one was gonna be about, and today, Bungie has confirmed that there's actually gonna be a new exotic mission coming within uh, the Into the Light DLC, and that's gonna be one of the things they're showing off in next week's live stream. And so guys, that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Cack that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.